Good morning everybody! How are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. I look a little sleepy, that's because I am, <laughs> but I did wake up in Pippin's Inn today and I'm feeling very happy to have my own space and be relaxed and be out of the share house for a little while because I am cat sitting for Ushka, which means I get to stay in this inn by myself, nice and cozy for the holiday in a different part of Tokyo, so that's going to be very interesting. The cats aren't here right now, they're in their own home area, though my door is open, so if they do want to come in, they're free too. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the week I'm going to have here. Probably gonna have to work anyway, but <laughs> for the time that I'm gonna be able to have my own kitchen, my own bathroom, my own toilet, I'm just gonna be in heaven, <laughs> to be honest. I'm never gonna want to go back. This guy's gonna have to drive me out of here. I started the morning by doing a tiny workout. I'm trying to get back into working out, but my body just feels tired all the time. So either it's my diet or my health isn't very good, or I'm just 30. Who knows? <laughs> so I did my workout, had a shower, had breakfast, uh, did part of my makeup, and I'm, I had a few teas already, but now I'm trying decaf. I've never had decaf in my life, guys. I know, it's so random. I'm not supposed to really drink caffeine because it makes me jittery and anxious and gives me heart palpitations, but I wanted, I really wanted to use the espresso and espresso machine, so I found this decaf. I think it's still too hot. You know what? I I will have a cup of decaf and it will probably my, be my only cup of decaf for the rest of my life. <laughs> now I'm going to study some kanji and I hope you enjoy this day here in Pippin's Inn as much as I do because I'm definitely going to enjoy every second of it. Where's your sister? I had to shoot with this wall in the background. I just had to. I love it so much. It's a bun kind of day. I try to curl my hair. It didn't turn out right. I don't really have my uh, hair protector, hair heat protector, so it didn't turn out right. Bun kind of day. Weird yellow messed up bleach but i did one hour of editing for my next belgium video so i'm very happy about that and it's a beautiful day outside cold but beautiful and i'm almost never on this side of tokyo like near shinjuku and shibuya and everything so even though i do have some tasks and i do have work this evening teaching work I'm thinking I'm gonna go explore. I really wanna to go to Shinjuku and probably Shibuya today, actually. I'm gonna to go to Shibuya today. I want to go to the Donkey to get a few items that I forgot to bring here and just to check out Donkey because it's been a while and hopefully not have a panic attack because it's probably gonna be the mega Don Quixote in Shibuya. And then I wanna to go to Loft or Tokyo Hands to check out the stationery because I'm sending cards to my family and also to patreons this year all the patreons this is my project for december they'll probably arrive january or mid-january <laughs> with how late i am doing all of this but let's do it let's go let's go explore <laughs> i'm super excited to go to shibuya i think it's the 100 year anniversary of hachiko so there might be interesting things there and today's Thursday, so I could wait for the weekend, but also maybe I should just, you know, like work indoors on the weekend and then go out during the week so there are less people. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, if, if you can hear me like breathing a little shakily, it's because I'm actually kind of nervous. I don't know why. I know I'm going to enjoy it anyway. I know I'm going to have fun. So I'm going to put my big heavy duty coat on. Um, get some tissues because I'm still recovering from that cold. I actually just had, I'm not sure the mess behind me, 
this matcha cereal bar that I've never seen anywhere. I've seen these cereal bars. Usually they're like yogurt flavored. I've recently seen like a bean, like red bean, azuki bean flavored one, which is quite interesting, but I've never seen the matcha one and it's so good. So this had this as a snack. Probably when I come back, I'll stop by the supermarket and actually cook myself something, even probably like pasta or something, but <laughs> I'll actually be able to cook something for myself for the first time in months since I've been in Japan. If you don't know, I hate the shared kitchen in my share house. So, long story short, frick. Okay, pick that up and then I'll get going. <laughs> Actually, they had a, a sex in the city, uh, like I think it was 25 years anniversary, like HBO. So that was kind of random to stumble across that big sex in the city fan, well, the older seasons. So now, I think this is the wrong direction, I should go backwards, but let's crowd it this way. I'll turn around in a sec. Uh, shoot, actually, I don't know where I'm going, hang on. Why do I have to go through the scramble crossing for God's sake? I keep forgetting how friggin' busy this place is. Even on a weekday. We found Donkey, it's up ahead. So I'm just gonna pop in there, like pop in there to get some skincare. And then get maybe check the gacha on the other side when I get back. Maybe just maybe check out the scramble crossing to see if there's anything special with the Hachiko anniversary and then probably head back because it's already noon I still have to eat and get ready for work so. I want to stay longer, I want to explore <laughs> quieter in the cosmetics <laughs> than in the ah, than in the snack aisle but I still need to find the cleanser walk back all the way back to the to the inn and I have to go like food shopping and cook and everything so I just got myself a little stuck. I look exhausted. 
my goodness. So I think it's gonna be too hot to eat, but let's give it a little bite at least. going back this time no detours no pokemon center no interesting little shop around the corner that is actually not interesting at all i'm going back <laughs> i swear me heading to the city after a long time of not being in the city oh my god it's so cute <laughs> there's a new shop oh i wonder what that is oh it's so interesting arrives in the city i need to get out of here i'm freaking out but don't get me wrong, I do love exploring. I really do. And one day, guys, one day, maybe one day will be when I'm 70 years old or something. One day, I will be wealthy and I'll be able to try all the cute little cafes and check out the more fancy stores without having like a, my chest tightening from stress and guilt from being poor. I don't know if you know this, but when you're poor, you feel guilty. You feel guilty all the time. You feel guilty for existing and not having any money and you feel guilty for spending money and yeah <laughs> so one day guys I will be wealthy and maybe at 70 years old I'll make a vlog where I can finally go to the little <laughs> the cute places I can't afford okay stupid segment but yes short story long I do love exploring it's just so frustrating to be limited guys kind of disappeared i thought i'd filmed a segment after going to the city to shibuya but i guess i didn't i went back to the inn i made myself a late pasta dinner i made a whole batch of it actually and it was really good so i'm pretty proud of myself because i like experimenting when i cook and sometimes well it doesn't turn out too good but this one was delicious i had that for lunch i had that for dinner and i think i can still have it for at least two meals so yeah definitely made a whole bunch with the ingredients I found because the supermarket that I found closest to the inn didn't have that many uh, items that I was looking for like I was looking for were like frozen vegetables but they didn't have like a um, frozen section like this they only had this mini freezer with meat inside I digress I did the best with what I could find and it turned out pretty good I actually bought fresh spinach and stuff and it was delicious so did that had some lunch, chilled under the kotatsu. It was my first time using a kotatsu, which, if you don't know, is like this low table with a blanket and a heater. Not like a heated blanket, because the heating system is under the table. So it makes like this, this warm, <laughs> this delicious warm setting where you can just relax. Did that for a little bit went to work, came back, had more pasta, 
watched a bit of Netflix and now I'm getting ready to take a bath and tomorrow's Friday and I think I will go to the dermatologist tomorrow because I am itchy I will explain this another time but I've had like this itch for years now and I'm out of medicine and I don't think Japan has the same so that's something for me to figure out tomorrow let me go check on the bath I'm so ready to relax and take off my face and just get in my jammies and maybe watch some more Netflix in the bed Christmas everybody! I've been spending the morning doing a little bit of chores, studying and writing my cards for my patrons and also for family. Uh, I should send some to some friends too but I don't know if I'll have enough cards but enough of that. Now it's coming up to lunch time and I'm thinking I'm gonna make some hotcakes which are pancakes <laughs> basically like the thick kind of pancakes because I bought this mix a few days ago and now I'm thinking like it's Christmas I had a little bit of a cry this morning, I felt a little down, a little lonely, but now I feel better and I think pancakes will make me feel even better. And then I may have to stop by my share house today. I'm not really sure what the plan is, I'm taking things as, as they go because my anxiety is quite high because holidays and being alone for the second year in a row and you know, all that fun stuff. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make the hotcakes and just see where I go from there. It's almost lunchtime already, so let's get going, I think. I was also thinking of going to karaoke by myself because it's kind of been on my list of things that I want to do but that I'm scared to do. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But for now, let's try and make hotcakes from the hotcakes mix. That's hard to say. Hotcakes from the hotcake mix. All right pancakes <laughs> right it seems pretty straightforward see hot cake mix with the milk the eggs with the flour mix and they even provided some syrup i was quite surprised i'm thinking of doing everything might just be easier um my japanese is getting better because i can finally understand most of this i was actually pretty pleased with myself so Let's give it a try. the best I can do without a whip. So the texture is pretty good. Hey, I found this fry pan and <laughs> I it's been a long time since I've cooked with gas and this kind of fry pan. So almost done. So I kind of burned half of them. Uh, and I actually needed to put like the heat really really low. So I think I got one small one left if I really scrape everything. And I got a really nice yield here, except for all the burnt ones, but I'm sure they're still tasty. I'll still enjoy them with syrup and I've got jam downstairs. So that will be my lunch. Hot cakes, pancakes for lunch. Yay. I'm going to have a looking by myself. I'm doing it. I'm in Shinjuku right now. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. <laughs> That scared me way too much for it to be properly enjoyable, but now that I've done it once, I'm sure I can do it again. And one of the reasons I wanted to do it is because every time I go to karaoke, which is not often, but with either classmates or friends, I, I can't figure the system out, I can't choose the song that I want, I, can't, I don't know what my go-to karaoke song is, and then I end up singing like, a real stupid song that really ruined the mood. And then there are all the songs that you think you're able to sing because when you're cooking you hum along to them and you're like oh it sounds quite cute and i think i think that might be my karaoke song and then you actually try it and there's a the music blaring and <laughs> you're nervous and the microphone it makes your, it amplifies your voice and then it's just wrong so basically my goal was to i'm turning around because i'm actually having to go there but i'm trying to find places to tell you the story <laughs> So my goal is to find my ultimate karaoke song that I can sing and that when I go with people, I don't make a fool of out of myself. And also that way I'm starting to get to know like how the system works. I get, got to like play around with it. I think I got to sing like four songs in 30 minutes, but I was also like fiddling with the machine and stuff while I was kind of half singing. So yeah, unfortunately I have not found my karaoke song yet. Not at all. <laughs> Even Pokemon toilet paper has Chansey on it. Ooh, I can't find any Chansey merch. Hardly anywhere. <laughs> this toilet paper is actually really cute. So I don't know you guys actually. The last roll <laughs> were the Stardust Evolutions, like Blastoise and Charizard and stuff, so. <laughs> That's really cute. I get that feeling like someone's watching me. So, I was going back to this place, to the Airbnb, to the inn, after work. It's almost 2 p.m. I hadn't had lunch yet, so stopped by Lawson's. It's actually the convenience store I go to the least. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. But there was a Lawson's on the way. Popped into Lawson's to get me some lunch. And you guys, look. It's Bond. It's Bondo. This is a Bondo man, which is pretty cold because I had to walk in another 15 minutes before getting here but oh look and there's also like this little Anya dessert it smells like sugar it smells very sweet but <laughs> I wanted to try the bond oh I can't start with the face it's, I just can't have him look at me while I bite into his flesh look at the little ears Seriously, every time there's something new in a convenience store, I can't resist it. Okay, stop looking. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Is that chicken? Does bond like chicken? I didn't even check what was inside. I was feeling. <laughs> saw something on the corner of my eye, Bondoman. I was like, gotta get it. You don't have to look at this anymore. It's too sad. No. Let's just get it over with. I'm sorry, Anya. Don't look at me like that. Hmm. What is it? Not marzipan. Hmm. I think the pink is straight up sugar and that her face is mochi and her little like horns like her little what is it called the little triangular cups on her head are chocolate I wonder if there was maybe a Lloyd sandwich or your bun <laughs> I don't I don't know what it would be um I should have checked a little better maybe next time but I need to stop buying all these junk. Ooh, every time it's a limited edition, it's like, take my money. Okay.
Okay, I'm, I'm starving. I need to eat the rest of my lunch. This is my last day here. I will be leaving tomorrow morning and I'm very sad. So I'm gonna relax and watch TV.